Hi guys, I have 10 tips to show you how to start a painting. I get a lot of people ask me, I don't know where to start or how to start a painting. So I have 10 tips for you and that's coming right up. Okay, the first tip is when you're starting a painting, and you look at the picture, the first thing you should do is look at where the light and the shadows are coming from. So if the light is coming from the right, your shadows will be on the back, on the left. If your light is coming from the left, then your shadows will be on the right side. Say if you had a tree or you know, a building, anything at all, then your shadows will be on the opposite side of the light. So say you had a tree, and the tree was, let's try this one here, this one here, say. So say you have the light coming in on the right, then the light will be shining on the right side of the tree, and the shadow will be on the left. And you would have all your highlights on the right side of your subjects. So that's one tip. Make sure you look for lights and shadow where the light is coming from so you can figure out where your shadows are going. Tip number two. When you're looking at a painting, also figure out where your focal point is. And your focal point is part of the painting that draws your eye right into that focal point and that focal point usually is brighter than everything else so that you can actually draw the eye right into the focal point. And number three tip is to look at your composition. So make sure your composition is, is nice and laid out nicely so that you have, you know, some subjects on, on your right side and then you have your subjects on your left side. You don't have anything dab in the middle because then it, it's sort of like your eye is just going straight to the middle and then everything else is forgotten about. So look at your composition, make sure that you know you have some nice um, different size subjects and I'm going to go more into this in more in detail and I'll you know do a painting and we can go through all these tips and we'll do a painting based on these tips and I think that will help you a lot. So tip number four um, lights and darks. So you if you have a painting what you'd like to do is put your lights and darks next to each other so you have the light water here and the dark water here so they're next to each other so anything that's light put something dark next to it so you know keep an eye out for that also because if you put all lights everywhere then it's not going to um, stand out the lights be much brighter if you have some dark areas around the lights and same with the other way around another tip is to have number five is to have your values. So if you're doing a tree or you're doing anything at all, make sure you have three values, your dark value, your medium value, and your light values. Three values, and once you have that, then everything will look more three-dimensional and look more realistic. Tip number six. What you need to do is make sure you have the proper brushes for what you're painting. If you're painting a flower, then make sure you have the proper brushes, like a liner brush or, a, or an angular brush or a filbert brush. Make sure you have those brushes because you'll get very frustrated if you're trying to paint certain areas of your painting and you just can't get it to work. And it's not because of you, it's because of your brushes. And I do go over a lot of uh, ways to use your brushes and what they're good for. So I have that in other videos. And plus I will be doing uh, another video on these tips to help you get a great painting. Also, you want to figure out how are you going to start your painting? Where do I start? You know, if you have a painting like this, or if you have a painting like this, you know, or, or any, any painting at all, 
you're going to say, where would I start? I don't even know where to start. Well, the way I start, and it's a good thing, is to start only your background first. You put your sky on first, you put your water on first, and put everything on top of that. And like I say, I'm going to do a video or more elaborate on these tips to help you get started in painting. Tip number eight. Um, look for shapes. If you're going to do, you know, a couple of trees or some people or some animals or some rocks, whatever you're going to do, don't make everything the same size. Now, in this painting here, I do have the two trees the same size and it doesn't look that great. So I would be changing that, but that's not a good example. I was just practicing and using that for some practice. But try not to make everything the same size. You know, you don't want to have a tree here and a tree here and they're both exactly the same size. Make one bigger than the other. Good tree? <laughs> Tip number nine. Now, the thing you want to do in order to get a good painting is to make sure you get your shapes first even if you have to draw them out after you know get your backgrounds done and then if you're doing an, an apple or an animal or even a tree you can take a bit of chalk and draw it out first so you get your shape first because once you get your shape then you're going to be able to do a great painting and tip number 10 last but not least are your small details come last so make sure you don't worry about small details in the beginning. Just get all your backgrounds done and get all your composition laid out. Figure out where your lights and darks are and your focal point. I know it's a lot, but you know, you'll learn all this as you go along. You know, get your composition, get your values down, and then make sure you got the proper brushes. And, um, and once you get all that done, then the painting is, you'll think it's done, but really it's not. You have to have small details. You leave all your small details to last. And that way you can spend hours just picking at your painting, doing all these small little details. Little details like highlighting your rocks, and making the little rocks, and making some flowers, and little flowers, and, and making the grass nicer by putting in these little pieces of grass coming up and highlights on your on your water and and if you want to add a rainbow or anything at all leave all those small details to last and get all the other tips down first so I hope these tips come in handy for you and I will be doing um, I'll do a painting based on these tips for you and that will help and uh, if you have any questions you can leave some comments uh, below and you can subscribe so I can get my videos out to you. So I'll leave it at that. Write down what I told you. Just write it down on a sheet of paper so that you can look at that. And then when you start a painting, you look at that. And then you'll be able to make life a little easier for you so you can enjoy your painting. So I'll see you in the next video. Signing out from Alison Pryor. Happy painting.